Hello and welcome to this video. I'm Hannah Jabour, Technical Marketing Engineer Leader, part of TDNR. In this video, we're gonna look at Cisco XDR integration with Microsoft Defender for Endpoint or the EDR solution provided by Microsoft. In this video, we're gonna focus on how to actually do this integration or perform the integration between Microsoft Defender and XDR. From the XDR page, Cisco XDR page, we go to under Administration Integration. And now we're gonna search for Microsoft. So part of this integration now, you can do the integration under Microsoft Cloud. The Microsoft Cloud integration, so you click Add, and you can add uh, the integration. It explains to you how this integration works. It's gonna be used for multiple Microsoft Defender integration, not only Defender for Endpoint, but also Defender for Office and others. Um, in this case, we're going to talk about Microsoft um, Cloud and we're going to name it V3 because I have multiple uh, integrations. This is the integration name and you have to have an application, client secret and an authentication to token and for endpoint. An endpoint. Uh, in this case, we're going to look at the integration guide. When you scroll down, you can actually see this integration guide. It takes you exactly where you need to go uh, and follow the instruction. You have to go into uh, Azure portal, create an application, specify um, the type of uh, the authentication that you need, um, the certificates, um, and you can add that specific integration. Plus, you could do how to configure uh, Microsoft Defender for Office and Microsoft Defender for Endpoint specifically, and you go through what are the API permissions. So you have to have API permissions for Microsoft Defender uh, to add the Microsoft Defender for Endpoint specifically, and you can add those uh, in here, you can go under API permissions, add permission API, I'm gonna show that in a bit, and use Windows uh, Defender ATP, and you could look at the different actions. So all the instructions that are needed to do this integration are right here, and all the other permissions. So I'm gonna go ahead and start uh, going into the portal. Uh, so actually from the homepage, all you need to do is click on app registrations. Either you add a new registration or you use one of them. So we're going to do now, I'm going to create a new one. I'm going to say my XDR Defender integration. That's the name. Uh, it's under an account for this organization uh, for a sing single tenant. I don't, I have, don't, I don't have multi-tenancy, so I just click uh, register. That's going to be create that application specifically. Uh, the first thing you need to note uh, from here is the application ID. That's the first value you need is the application ID. So I could click that one and go back to um, XDR. On the top side, that's the application client ID. It's that easy. The secret is when you actually create a secret, uh, to, to create a secret, you have to go under uh, certificates and secrets and you could create a new um, secret. Uh, the description is um, my XDR integration secret. I'm gonna add that one copy the value from here, not the secret ID. I'm gonna go ahead and add it over here. That's the secret, the authentication 2.0 token endpoint v2. This is when you actually have to go under uh, overview and you look at the endpoints on the top side. This is where you could find the authentication 2.0 um, for the endpoint. Um, exactly here we need the uh, the one that's specifically related to the token itself. So write this one. Or to your token endpoint. Oh, this is a V1. We need the V2. So that's the one. So I almost made the mistake. You go back into uh, the XDR integration and you specify that specific token. So you have to be careful. It's V2, not V1, and it's a token endpoint specifically. And that's basically how you do that one. Uh, all you need to do is um, create that one and then just add it. As we added that, you could see live that this has connected immediately. So now, because we can authenticate, this has worked immediately. All I need to do is to actually enable either Microsoft Defender for Office bo or both Microsoft Defender for Endpoint. In this case, I'm looking at Microsoft Defender for Endpoint. Um, and you can specify the entity limits, which means how many sightings I could actually pull um, at each time. So we go back into Microsoft specifically into um, that specific application we created. We go into the API permissions, and this is all following the instruction in the page. 
And from here, you can add a new permission and you can specify when you say a new permission, say API my organization use that specifically. And here you're gonna search for Windows Defender ATP. And I'm gonna say application permission. And here I'm gonna to start to find exactly what I need to do following the instruction in here and the actual XDR page. So if I look in here, I scroll down, I could find all these uh, actual uh, requirement, permission, application uh, for the alert, for the score. I'm going to follow all these instruction. In the meantime, I will uh, I will start doing that here. And at, at a certain point, I'm going to pause the video uh, in order to finish this totally. So after adding all these permissions, you can see the permissions listed here. Um, and you can see they are in orange status. This is um, going to be not granted for security demo. That's specifically because it does not grant it by default. It need an admin consent required. So in this case, I'm not going to wait for an admin. I'm going to show you another uh, application where this has been granted. So this is an example of another application that has different uh, type of detections, including those Microsoft Defender ATP uh, actual uh, required permissions and here they are granted since the admin has granted this access and if you go back now to my integration um, I could use that new integration itself so now if I do because the, the grant is not there if I do add it the, the actual integration is gonna fail because the permissions are not there um, just because inside this one uh, it will need an admin permission to do the integration so that's the case where you could fall into a trap of this is not working. I'm going to show now another integration that's actually working. I've done earlier. Um, if I look at my integrations and I scroll down to find the MS Defender one, that's the exact one that's actually working. If you click on it, you can see actually it's connected over here at the top level at Microsoft Cloud level. And if you scroll down, you can actually see that Microsoft Defender for Endpoint is actually connected and it's working. So this is how the integration is done. And you have to know that this actually is uh, using Microsoft Cloud APIs. And um, hopefully this video has been informative for you guys and you learn how to do integrate Microsoft Defender for Endpoint with Cisco SDR. Tune in for the other videos.